does it look like the way they're set up that the next guy that comes in on defense needs to be a 3-4 guy? That's a good question. Um, I don't think they need to be a 3-4 team because some of their 3-4 defensive line talent are free agents. I think it's time to cut loose some of these linebackers that are in that system. Um, So you can kind of wipe the the slate clean and start over with your new front. Um, You know, they can Kendricks like him as a role player, like him as a leader in the locker room. He does not have what he used to athletically. Yeah, they Um, can actually move on because they they only he only has two million in dead cap space. Yeah, I would say that's a move that I I expect to happen. Um, Not that I think could happen. Harrison Smith, even um, again, another guy I've loved watching over the past few years. Um, Dalvin Tomlinson is a guy that I think comes. uh, He's a free agent this year. I think he's gone for good. Um, My biggest issue with this team, and I thought the Vikings were the most overrated team in football. Um, Negative point differential despite winning 12 games. You know, we, we talked recently about just fortunes reversing, right? Good luck, bad luck, yeah. kind of changing back and forth. Their their record in one score games, I think they were eleven and zero, something like that. Or they were very up. good at it, yes. And they played I'm, in a lot of close games the last couple of years, right? And that has a way of, of evening itself back. It does. So, you know, this is a team I struggle to see where the direction is. You know, the the Kirk Cousins, uh, he'll be their guy for at least another year. I would say at least probably more likely than two. Dalvin Cook is now on the back nine of his career, and the top backup, Madison, is now a free agent. Um, you know, it, it's it, it's it's tough. Brad, Garrett Bradbury, the center, he didn't pan out. I don't think they picked up his Well, he actually out. did have his best year. Yeah. Now, whether season, or not they still believe my, in him moving forward, that's, I, yeah, that's okay. I mean, my latest exposure to him was that, that wild card loss to the Giants where there are certain things he just can't do. You know, he can't handle the big physical pass rushers. Um, you know, and there's some give and take with the athletic ability that he brings to the table. But, you know, this it's just they have a lot of their best players are also their oldest. You know, yeah, like you said, just, it could be let's just move on. Yeah. Build around just good players, Jefferson. maybe, but yeah. even good or overpriced or whatever, older, it's time for us yeah. to move on. You know, they're Patrick Peterson, their top corner. You know, oh, he's yeah. now a free agent. He, he's up there in age now. Do oh, they really yeah, we want can't, to we can't repay him at 33 years old. No. So so it's just – it's a weird situation. As I was writing these guys up, I mean, they've put a lot of resources into the cornerback group. Seven draft picks between 2018 and 2022. And you're looking at this group right now and saying, hey, we, <laughs> might, need, we might need two of them next you year. You know what I mean, Corey? Yep. I mean, and look, so. it's unfortunate that two of their top picks last year got hurt. Right. And, and look, Booth – that was always going to be a – you were gambling a little bit, and that's why he didn't go in the first round. And then, lo and behold, he's got the knee surgery, and it's the same old knee issue, and it's and now you can't really count on him. No. And then Scene gets injured, uh, and he's out for the season. So you yeah. have two key pieces. So at least what that does going into this year is, okay, we get these guys back. That's good. But, you know, Shelley's a free agent and Sullivan's a free agent. And as you mentioned, Peterson's a free agent. So yeah. and maybe Harrison Smith, it, like you said, maybe they decide what to do there. Probably. I, I think maybe they just try to restructure Harrison Smith's contract. Yeah, I, I can see unless Harrison Smith wants to go somewhere the last year or two to try right. to win a Super Bowl. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just it's going to be an interesting situation to watch. Just, I feel like there's potentially, especially year two of this regime. Right, Minnesota had a new front office, new head coach last year. I think we might be in line to see a lot of personnel movement on, on this roster. Yeah, you're right because yeah, the second year for the for the GM. And yep. is it time? Is it too early, or is it time to use up one of your third, fourth round picks on a quarterback? With, with, I would take one if I was the Vikings. Uh, I'm not a huge Kirk Cousins guy. Um, I just don't think you're going to get past this ceiling with him. And again, you might be able to make the playoffs, get hot at the right time. Uh, but I think it's time to start thinking past Kirk Cousins, especially considering what you're going to have to pay Justin Jefferson soon. You and, know, and, you, and let me ask you, would you would you even go the route of saying, all right, maybe we're going to have Cousins for two more years. This is the perfect spot for a guy like Richardson. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm a huge fan of, of Richardson going anywhere where he's definitely not going to play right away. So if he's available at this spot, absolutely. I think it'd be a big, good pick. And 
you know, kind of like a, just a notice to Kirk Cousins that his time is up if he doesn't get further into the playoffs next year. All right. Other than that, though, uh, there really isn't. Would you say their number one need is probably a, a number one corner? Yep. Yep. Right. Number one corner. Uh, Bradbury, I would like to see a new center there. Um, just don't think it's worked out. And I think they need to start planning for Dalvin Cook being done soon or Alexander Madison playing somewhere else and having that second back right behind them ready to go. What do you think about the possibility of uh, giving Chandler that opportunity this year? to be the number two and see if he could, you know, maybe be a part of their one, two future. Love it. Cause I like Chandler coming out. Um, still not sure if he's going to be big and physical enough, but again, the opportunity should be there. Would I put all of my eggs in that basket? No. Yeah, like I would probably bring another day three pick in. Uh, as we know, day three picks can be found um, at that position every single year. And if a spot opens up, I would like to see Chandler compete with someone for that job rather than just give it to him. Yeah, at this point, there are just so many other needs, though, that you're thinking about yeah. what are they exactly going to do, and we'll know more. Again, we're going to know more about what they're going to do yeah. uh, once free agency's uh, over. 